hi guys good afternoon and welcome back to my channel my name is Kuli. uh hopefully you guys are all doing good so today we'll be doing the swim part of those jumpsuit that we posted last time so this is it on me though it's it's not my size it's small for me but i just had to wear it for you to see how it looks and everything so let's just get started the first thing is to um remember that i said i was not going to add a pant to it that is the black part the the, the black waistband but i later decided to add it so i had to minus one inch like the trouser part i removed one inch then the top part i also removed one inch remember that we didn't minus any band so i had to remove those one one inch for for me to use the black one to join it that was exactly what i did and that is the trouser just place your pattern you don't need to add any other allowance so i removed one inch the front then i also removed one inch at the back then the upper part i also removed one one inch which i um i replaced back with two inches band so that's the top part i also removed one one inch um because i was going to add band if you don't remove it you notice that is it that the flap sorry the flap will be too loose or it will come down it will not sit properly at your crouch so you just have to remove it so after removing it i had to cut out two two 2.5 inches band then i use half inch to join it so here is the down part here is the part that we are going to add black <coughs> sorry so i this part i just extended by half inch for you to not run shortage of the material so that is just remember that you are going to have two pieces of this this is the front one that i'm cutting out two pieces please you can add to you you can add extra one inch to your length again or two inches so that you don't run shortage so this is the sorry this is the yoke part of the upper distance so i just have to extend it again by half inch for me not to run shortage of fabric when joining it so every other thing is just exactly the same just the same thing then you just notch the center for you to get the midpoint so the next thing is to draft out the sleeves and <laughs> though i was just doing um i didn't know i didn't really know what i was covering but yeah so i just got my i, I went down by four inches then did that slant the slant the s slant or something then i measured the armhole to know the arm hole which i got the arm hole i measured the round sleeve and um the cuff parts which i don't really have this person this uh round sleeve and all that so i was just using my own then i'll remove something because i know that i'm bigger than she is so i just measured to get the midpoint then went down by half inch to connect to this sleeve this sleeve sorry is not really giving well i corrected it so it was the pattern paper so I, from there i went up by eight inches for me to join that is the part that i'm going to join the material remember it has joining so i placed to cut out the sleeve i use the the check pad the white one the uh, the white one is two years and the black one is one year so you just have to get one and a half year or two years of black so look at what i said about the sleeve so it wasn't sleeving at all but i had to like correct it didn't know what i was doing so i had to like join the sleeve because the black wasn't enough it wasn't even enough for me to cut the upper part also but I just had to manage so if you are making these it depends on your body size you can get two years of the white one or one and a half years of the white one then two years of the black one or just get everything two 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 so it should be okay like that so here is the black one then i had to slit it open because um the other one was open don't do it because it wasn't the material wasn't enough so this is the that i was going to add to the sleeve the damper is just eight inches long you can make yours to be longer or shorter 
that's what i did to be eight inches long and that was what i did then and then this the total sleeve length um is uh 24 so i just have to do it like that so this is it so here is the pocket yes i added pocket so it, the pocket is 12 inches by length then 7 inches by width then you do a little curve add please i'll make maybe another video if you need a video on how to cut a perfect pocket just uh drop a comment tell me to make a video then i will. i don't want this to be too long because it's long already so so here is the front i've joined the the damp parts to the this thing please before you join the crotches the crouch you have to join those uh down ones the the should i say is the hem part so for the pocket if you want to cut pockets you just have to face each other the two pockets facing each other then you go in by two inches down go in by two inches then go down by six inches then give it this a slant curve please if you know if you want to learn if you if you want a story on how to cut a perfect pocket just drop a comment and i'll make um i'll make a detailed video on how you can do it and how you can fix your pocket this the video was already too long so i just had to like forward it this way so you just attach those things and i iron it out very well so this is the back part i've gonna ahead to hold the zipper this is the way the zipper part will be then i'll i've also gonna ahead to join this part look at the way it's looking already so the next thing is to look at the front one i've showed you so it is the way you have you just have to have two pieces of that then sew on it and turn it out just sew on it and turn it out then bring your front pattern that is your front pattern get the yoke ready then place that one the v part will be down then you place it then place your yoke on it and sew it here you don't need to you just are not ready made way so you don't need to start lining it and all that so just do it i didn't even top stitch it just give it a, a good press and everything will just be okay so for the sleeve part i have a uh, 15 inches long then four inches wide the sleeve part is 15 inches long and um four inches wide then i i ironed uh, a paper stay on it to make it firm to make it firm to like to give it some weight it's not the strong uh paper stay or something just the light one that i used so i'll just so here is the drape part of the sleeve the part that is going to fall down i've gone ahead to iron my paper stay then that is the band the band is just your waist your waist length then you so the waistband is just two two point five inches wide that is for the back you have to cut it on for the you have two piece for the back like four piece for the back two two inches double it so that it will have weights so that it will clinch on your face very well like it will have weight weights or so something like that so here is how to fold the pocket i fix one pocket so here even if you are folding make sure you leave two inches allow that two inches that you cut as so you will place it back that way please I said you should drop a comment if you need a detailed tutorial on how to sew and uh, uh, cut and join your pocket i'll do that so that is just it so after that you join your crouch and please if you are joining this please make sure not it make sure that everything just make sure that those blacks matches very well make sure they align very well so instead of you to join from the crouch you just start from down so after everything then you now shape it to your uh i just removed if you remember that i brought out one one inch one one inches for the um allowance so i just use one one um i brought out one and a half inches for the allowance so i just used one one inches to join it then the 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 tie part i use half inches to join it down so you also shape you do your zipper board you remove one inches for your zipper then you just connect it that way then 
you shape your you have added the band you know to get the midpoint of your your top also get the midpoint of the band so attach to your top first then after attaching it you also get the midpoint that is your crash pad that is where you are attached to the upper part midpoint then you just close it just that simple i didn't top stitch on it so it's just this simple here i've joined the the black part so you just join it that way hold the middle point so that one edge from one edge to one edge this is after shaping it though sorry after shaping it that is where you maybe 1.5 inches or 2 inches from this yoke to my from this line but i'm not sure yet then i will attach this guys after before attaching my long sleeve i will attach this one here then do the same thing for the back. Take it back to the back also and attach it so that it fall. Then if I if I'm attaching my sleeve, I will do the same thing. I will start attaching, then I'll cover this place with this thing. So it will be like this. But I'll just attach others then show you the next thing to do. Or just this simple and please make sure to subscribe and like if you're enjoying this tutorial and drop a comment or any question if you don't understand anything and i'll take you through it so i'll just uh, join this another